I'm Jen, your local New York City guide, and you may have heard of Grand Central Speakeasy, the Campbell Apartment Bar, but today I'm going to uncover some real secrets, like the time it was a jail, the Egyptian influence, and whether or not the staff really believe that Campbell's ghost is still haunting the bar today. So we are gonna go explore all of Grand Central. There'll be a video on his channel about Grand Central tips and tricks, and then keep watching for all of the history, fun facts, and everything you need to know about the Campbell apartment here in Grand Central. Grand Central's Campbell Apartment Bar used to be a secret speakeasy that was much harder to find, but now, after renovations, they've added a new entrance and split the bar into three new bars. It is one of my favorite New York City institutions and, fittingly, has been named one of the best bars in America. Next time you're waiting for a train in Grand Central, grab a drink at this historic New York City jewel. Fun fact, the bar was even prominently featured in the Gossip Girl pilot episode. This used to be the private office of the railroad executive and millionaire John Williams Campbell in 1923. In the world's largest train terminal, this was the largest ground floor office at the time. Campbell hired Augustus Allen to design the space as a replica of a Florentine palazzo, complete with a fireplace, piano, pipe organ, and Roman Renaissance style ceiling. You can even see Campbell's personal steel safe in the grand fireplace. The 25 foot tall hand painted ceiling steals the show. Some believe the spacious apartment's design, including the lotus flowers on the ceiling, was also inspired by Campbell's tomb or chamber in Egypt. John Campbell was born in Brooklyn. He never attended college, but instead at 18 worked at his father's firm until he worked his way up to be the president of the company. He was an important shareholder of the New York Central Railroad stock. As a financier, he should have had his office on Wall Street, but rumor has it he was talking to his realtor, saying he wanted something special in Midtown. And his realtor jokingly asked, in Grand Central? And he said yes. As a friend of the Vanderbilt who built the terminal, he was given this apartment as his office. He never actually lived in the apartment, but he and his wife used it to entertain parties. After his death in 1957, the famous Persian carpet, which would have been worth $3.5 million today, and his other furnishings disappeared from his office. Rumor has it that the spirit of Campbell still haunts the space. Paranormal investigations have noted paranormal sightings in the venue, and some staff have mentioned weird incidents like cold air, taps from behind with no one there, and organ sounds. And the door is shutting. <laughs> Paris Durante, the famous bartender who has worked here for a few decades, you know, the guy with the beautiful mustache, told me he doesn't believe in ghosts and says he often works here late at night and has never seen the ghost. Before this base became a bar in 1999, it was a police office with cubicles for the MTA Police Department. They even stored guns in this beautiful curio cabinet. The space even served as a jail. The wine cellar was a cell for prisoners. Prisoners took their mugshots at the fireplace. Can you imagine? The latest renovations have transformed the Campbell apartment now into a complex of bars called simply the Campbell. The three bars are the classic Campbell Bar, the Campbell Palm Court, which is in the entrance, and the Campbell Terrace, an outdoor covered veranda and bar. Now there will be no more dress code. It now opens earlier at noon and offers lunch of salads and sandwiches and even lobster avocado toast. You can now make reservations not just for large groups, but also for two or more. I highly recommend making reservations a few weeks ahead of time as the space gets fully booked quickly. Come here at 12 noon when it first opens for the best light and least crowds. Late at night, it can get packed. Cocktails can be pricey at about $20, but they are worth it. Cocktails include classics like the Negroni, Manhattan, and the Old Fashioned, as well as newer variations. I love the stack house sour with bourbon, egg whites, and lemon juice. Thanks for taking this tour. Don't forget to check out his video. Yeah, give it a look, please. Yes, and 
as always, say yes to new adventures, and I'll see you next time. Bye.